Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So I have a um, community thrift bag, $19.99. I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look all that gravy, but I got it because, you know, maybe there's a special gem in there in the middle or something, but there are a lot of bangles. Um, before I jump into this one, I wanted to show you guys this beautiful, gorgeous, oh my god, like how pretty this is, on um, sterling class. This is amber. Let's see. Do you guys see? And this is actually going to be featured in a future auction. Look at that. Oh my god, look how it glows. Oh my god, this is this is this is good amber. Really good amber. So it's um a shorter necklace, but I just wanted to share and give you guys a little a little peek. This one will probably come out in the auction that I will be doing in t about two weeks with Kristen, Kristen D. And um I did pay up for this one, so the starting bid, you know, it's going to be up there. But look at this gorgeous, thick. Oh, my God. I just love when it glows. <laughs> look at that. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's going to be featured in that auction. And so today when I went to the community, um, I've, I got a couple finds. And some for I'm holding for auction and some um, I just wanted to show you guys and then if it doesn't sell here I'm gonna kick it back in another video or something so this one look at how cute this carved this is an agate <laughs> turtle like oh my god how cute is that now when I was running the Presidium, these are, I thought this was rose quartz. These are all coming back as glass. This is um, real stone. It is an agate. And it's, it's, it worked out so perfectly the way they carved it because they had to take down some layers. But look at, it just looks like it's the top of the shell of the turtle. And this is um, adjustable. It has the rope pull string this one um we can do um i could do 14 on this one i could do 14 on this one this one is we have rope knotted long beautiful green jade this is a sterling clasp look at the clasp on this this is solid sterling it's marked and I did test it. I ran it through the Presidium and it's coming up as Jade. This one is 30. Um, I'm trying to find my tape measure. I have like a little workshop of all kinds of tools to the, to the side of me. So this one is 30. And they're not small. Look at how big. Look how big these balls are. And the drop on this is about 12 inches. Okay. Now this one, um, these are all precious stones. We have a mixture of quartz. A couple pieces of jade in there. Um, carnelian look at these discs this is so cool I did test the silver to see if it was sterling but it's not look at this is this is all stone I'll give a measurement right now and um, on this piece I could do 22. I really like the design. It's different. So I'll give a drop, but it's, um, we have different uh, silver stations, the silver beads, the caps, 
the discs right there. And then this is kind of like a tassel in, in a sense, but it's all precious stones. And the drop on this is 14. From here to here, the apex is 14 inches, but then it goes longer. Okay, this is just to fit over your um, your head. Look at that gorgeous bronze. You're moving my camera, buddy. So um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, if you're interested, email me. It's Soho California Vintage, the same as my channel, at gmail.com. And payment is required immediately. I do not do holds. Um, and it's first come, first pay. So if you don't pay and, um, you know, somebody else wants it and they're ready to pay, I'm going to go to that person. So let's jump into this. Let's jump into this and let's cross our fingers. I have the Presidium over here. I pulled it out. It's calibrated, and if I need to test any sterling, I will do that as well. And then my co-host is right here, which you might see his little sticky paws coming in. So I was kind of hesitant about getting this one. It didn't seem all that great, but I was like, you know what? It's only 20 bucks. I could see that they try to sell these. These are just plastic, little wavy blue bangles. They're fun. If anybody wants these, we could do a couple bucks. Here are, let me see here. I'm trying to see if there's a, a maker's mark. So we have glass. We have a heart that looks like dichroic glass. Just little um, charms. We could do a dollar on that one. That's fine. Most pieces, if I don't give a price, they are going to be about a dollar unless, you know, it's something a little bit more special Then it will, the, the price will uh, reflect what it is. This has some weight to it. Uh, it looks like it's, it does have a copper undertone. I'm trying to see if there's a maker's mark. It does have some weight though that to the side I think this bag might be a little bit more cleaner than the last one well the other one was great there was a lot of little treasures in there but there was a lot of little um single pendants and earrings and oh what is this okay so I think this is just plastic let me see here oh it's damaged right there I was thinking, yeah, it's just worn down, but it's like a beautiful nude color. So somebody could take that for a buck. We do have a lot of bangles in here. Oh, I can't believe they threw this in here. This is solid stone. I don't know what, okay, we're going to come back to that. This bag was worth getting. Okay, let me move this to the side. Well, actually... Let me get some of these bangles out of the way. If anybody's interested in the bangles, I could do um, a lot. And believe me, I give a lot. Like in the L-O-T, the lot. Here, and these are tiny. Oh, these are tiny. I could do the set for a dollar. Where's my, my magnet? Sometimes you never know with these. Let me see here. Is everybody getting ready for the holidays? Ugh. I'm not I'm not ready at all with that stuff. I um I am getting the decorations out though for the house. I know Thanksgiving's not even here, but I don't like to um like take forever on that stuff okay why do i keep sitting the magnet on that so these are just metal regular metal if anybody's interested in a craft bag they are over five pounds and they go in a priority um f 
padded flat rate envelope. Sometimes they're as heavy as seven. Um, sometimes as heavy as eight. It just depends how much I could squish in there. Most of the time, I'm averaging about seven to eight pounds. I actually... I'm not going to even say five pounds. They're for sure over six pounds. They're always over six pounds. So if anybody wants one, I have a lot. And if not, I'm just going to push it out. Um, they're 25 right now. They're 25. The 10 bucks is pretty much covering the shipping. So um, they're 25. And if you want, um, like, let's say... Two bags of craft since they're 25 each um, maybe I could get you a better deal and fit it in like a medium just email me if you're interested in like two I could fit it in a medium priority and just give you you'll probably end up getting like 10 pounds plus of craft um, this one's not sticking but this one's not metal. It looks like aluminum. Aluminum doesn't stick. So if you want like a medium priority, I'm pretty sure it'll be way over 10 pounds. I could probably do, well, I could shave off a few bucks. Yeah, just email me if you want, you know, one bag or you're interested in. This kind of looks like amber, but mm, no, I'll show her. Yeah, no, it's faux. Really, it's a stretch though. It's a pretty stretch. If you're wearing it, we could do a dollar on that one. Oh, look at how pretty we got! Like um, three balls looking like a snowman earring. So. What is this? These are, oh my God, look at. So these are skulls. However, I'm trying to see if this is, is this wood or plastic? Or is it stone? Ooh, it's like, it could be stone. It's like, it's weird. I don't know. This would be really awesome to like make it and mix it up with other stones and put it in like a necklace. Look at that. This is so primitive. Okay, here's the other earring. Mm -mm -mm. Here is a faux pearl. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know how this would open though I guess you would have to like I don't know we'll do a dollar on that one bangles more bangles single earring oh here's another earring is this the match uh, yeah it is okay so let me see here. What is going on with this one? Uh, okay, so we just have gold tone. I'm trying to see if I can find a maker's mark. And yeah, these are just like plastic. Hmm. Oh, um. I just also wanted to say that the the Red AB Trafari Contessa necklace that I had in my last auction with Kristen, it actually sold. So I'm really happy that it's going to its new home. But I was also kind of sad. I was, I was taking a lot of pictures before I packaged it up. This is missing a stone, these earrings. But yeah, the, she sold and she's on her way to her new home. So I hope that the new owner... Um, is in love with it as much as I have been in love with it, which I'm I'm pretty sure because it's way better in person. So this is broken. These are so no. These are like agates. That might be carnelian. This is really really nice though to use on a project. 
um, because of the real stones and these are faceted crystals. Let me see how many stones we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a broken one. I mean, if somebody wants to work on this and make some magic, we could do $4 on that. Okay, so look at this. I don't know what this says. If any of my subscribers can tell me what that says. I would have preferred if this wasn't on there and it was just the stone itself. Like, so this could be also worn as a pendant as a hole right there. Let me run the Presidium. Let me let it warm up. I want to see if this, I think this is just like a carnelian or agate. Just want to double check that it's not a jade. Well, that's getting ready. We have some bangles. This one, I remember when they had it out, it was like $30. I kept looking at it. It's just so pretty. This No, baby. No, we're not doing that. Give me this. I kept looking at it. And. Huh. But you know, it's like, I don't know what it says. Here's a purple plastic bangle. Here's a really cute little owl stretchy ring. We could do a dollar on this little cutie patootie. No, Bronzy. Mm -mm. And my presidium is still war warming up. So we have blue dyed shells. That's pretty. I mean, it has a look. I think that's the back. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. This is like a Tiffany blue. We could do $2 on that one. Okay. So, Presidium's ready. Let's see what it gives us. So it is stone. It's not coming up as jade. It's most likely carnelian. Yeah. I don't know. I have to figure out what it says. And then this is something that's probably going to go in my eBay store unless somebody emails me and they want it. But that's a good find. So the bag already is worth it. So I am glad. No bronze. No, 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 no. You never come up here and then I start filming. You're like a toddler. And then uh, I start filming and you're so in the mix. Okay, so here we have, this is like a gold thread. It looks like a stone. Oh, I kind of like this. Like the way they did the the adjustable little loops to put the stone in. And it's not in such bad condition. But it is very different. Look at this. This is really cool. It's like blown glass. This is wood. Yeah. That's a cool piece. And we're gonna we're gonna come down um, Bangle Central. I was about to say South Central. To see, oh, this feels mm, no. I thought it was stone. Bangle Central. So this feels hmm. Like a resin. Uh, but if... Uh, I don't know. It feels nice. I don't think this is... Hmm. This one's a real... It, it's like plastic, but it feels like a special, you know, kind of 
plastic, you know, like it's not Bakelite, but something like that of that nature. Something like that. So here we have kind of like a brutalist style. Um, this is material. It, it, it's very worn. It's very, very worn. Uh, but we could we could just do a dollar for it. Somebody could still enjoy that or revamp it up. So here we have what well, I wanted to say cloisonne, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. The this is like a ceramic. Do you hear that? The glass. It's not raised the way cloisonne is, you know, like the outer lining, how it's raised. It's a pretty piece. The rope's in really good condition. So might it might need to just it could be left as is or changed out. We could do four on this one. Okay, let me see here. So these are just little seed beads. Somebody made that. Plastic. Just uh, silver tone bangles. If somebody wants to buy all the bangles, knock yourself out. I'll give you a great deal. Um, this says G to stretch. This is probably like a, a guess, the brand guess um, bracelet. Purple stones, adjustable. Let me get that. We have um, hematite, and we have Virgin Mary, different saints. This looks like a Catholic. No, Brandy, stop. He's like he's looking at the tassel. No, you can't stop. I gotta get him a new tassel because he hasn't had one, and he loves his tassel toy. Okay, uh, these are just plastic, graduated, um, white beads. No, sir, don't do that. Stop. Okay, we're almost actually done with this bag. So here's another white necklace, plastic. Very cool. We could do a dollar on that. You know, the majority of the stuff will be a dollar. The shells, we'll do a dollar. Which, yeah. No, no, no. Don't do that. Uh uh. We're not doing that. I know what I'll do. I need to go to like um, the material store where they sell like the tassels um, to put like on curtains or to tie up the curtains on the side and just let them give them that and let them go bonkers. Uh, I don't even know if any are missing on this one. It looks possibly, but if anybody wants it, we'll do a dollar. Here are some seed beads, some dichroic glass. Sometimes these homemade ones will use sterling. That's actually a very cool, oops. 
a very cool class. Look at that. Here's a ring. Uh, that's what is going on. Um, part of the stone is missing, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Non sterling bangle. Okay, this is missing a stone. Hey, come on. Come on. Hmm. I don't think this is sterling. I always like to double check. But that would be cool if somebody wants to put like a stone in there or something. Actually, it's pretty big. Trying to get this guy out. This feels nice. It's like silk. Okay, who are you? What is going on here? No maker's mark. It's just... Actually, there is a maker's mark. Looks like um, Graziano. Hmm, where is my loop? <laughs> had it ready to go and then I must have put it back yeah Graziano Graziano there's a maker's mark right there Here we have, these are just uh, beads. Reminds me of prayer beads. Hmm. I'm gonna try my best to do an auction this week. Uh, buy it now. I don't know, I'm gonna try. I don't know, I don't like to, you know, say I'm gonna do it and then something happens because my schedule is pretty hectic, but I'm going to try my best. And there will be some new things, some um, items that have been reduced. And yeah. yeah this is adjustable. Just a teal plastic stone. A lot of bangles. This says Edith. Edith. Um, this one probably is homemade. These would be great to like use for something else. Look at how massive those caps are. Here we have a. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is faux turquoise. I don't know. It's a very cool ring, though. We could do two bucks on that one. Here are some shells. These are plastic. Purple, grape colored necklace. This is by the Avenue. The Avenue. Okay, so this is by, um, still has its original tag, Paparazzi. Oh my God. Okay. Bronze, did you come back? Because there's nothing. 
No, no, don't do that. Come on, go up there. Come on, be a good boy. This is just some memory wire. So, it's okay. Yeah, not the greatest, but I mean, here's a necklace. It's still fun, you know, to go through these. And it's not complete. There's a lot of craft items in here. It's not complete, like, junk, you know? As far as, like, broken stuff. I think th what I'm going to make my money back is on that that stone pen pendant. This is plastic. Plastic bubbles. Uh, um, these are plastic too. Seed beads. Long strand. Um, the craft lots I do, a lot of it is, you know, TLC, it needs TLC, some with missing stones, loose beads, loose stones, and then you'll get, like, stuff like this thrown in there if it doesn't sell, so, um, it's a combination, okay, so this has skeletons, oh, this is cool. Put that to the side. This is all, it feels like leather. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, I have like five more things to go over. This was, so here we have pearls. Uh, I think they've seen better days. And who is it? Carolee. Carolee. She actually has some brooches that I really like from the 70s. I wonder if, um, yeah, that's here's silver tone. Long necklace, multi strand, it's a little tangled. Okay, so it just basically it's something like this. If anybody wants it, you gotta untangle it, but it's a dollar. So we got some rings. This is severely worn, but I, too bad. I mean, it's, it, it's only on the rim. It looks like it. This is a hunker of a copper ring. This is cute. Let's see. Are you silver? You have a marking. This is Avon. Cute little Avon ring. Uh, faux stretch. Okay, more bangles. Here are a pair of gold tone and faux turquoise. These are in good, decent condition. Mm hmm. Very fun. One earring of this flower. Wait a minute. And oh, it's a. Uh... Hmm. I feel like something's missing. See how it has like that loop right there. Maybe it can convert into a clip-on. Here's another earring. These are all faux stones, and it looks like something from, um, like the lot or something. 
this is tangled. Let me see if I could get this one. Okay, so it's it's tr a tri, T R I, a tri layer. See right there, stone. It's actually cute. That's cute. Now. Hmm. It looks familiar, the Maker's Mark, but it's like a, oh, it's like a, um, it's like a weasel. Um, I've seen that one before. And I'm trying to figure out if this is with it. No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so this is just messed up in here. And this is like a leather. Let me see here. I probably could do it this way. There we go. Let's put this to the side. Now, typically I just throw these to the to the side. However, this one's in it's it's, real, it's in decent condition. And then I think you just like tie it down here or something. It feels really nice, like very buttery. That could be converted into like a wrap of some sort. Here we have a faux stone with, okay, so that's broken. Fangle, so um, out of this was, let me see here. I would like to say my favorites are these carved skulls and they're just so cool. Very, very cool. Um, I did like this one, even though I'm opposed to like the material, um, jewel, like the, the necklaces, cause you know, the wear, and then you don't know who's been wearing it, but this is in very good condition. I love the blown, the blown glass. Okay. And of course, this piece. This is a really nice, solid stone. But, so that's pretty much what came in that bag. And if anybody, once again, is interested in these yeah. precious stone necklaces, holla at your girl, email me. Look at how cool that turtle is. Oh, all right, folks. So short but sweet, right? Short but sweet video. Okay, guys, you guys all have a beautiful rest of your evening, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Soho, California Vintage, signing off. Peace.